So you want to be creative with your capo. Your guitar looks great. You even put two cables on it. You have all the attention from the audience. Until you want to play your first regular chord. I have the audio files, but uh, I just can't do that. Hello everyone, Arjen Decker here. Today I'm gonna show you a nice way how you can use your capo. And you put a cable on a second fret, but not on the finished two strings. So you all keep asking me all the time, why do I use this tuning? Well, I was transcribing the guitar part from my cover of High and Dry, a ritual from Radiohead, which you can watch here. And I found it really hard to use some hammer-ons on the F-sharp minor 7 at 11 chord. In the beginning I want to make a uh, percussive finger style a guitar part for it. So I decided to use a cable on a second fret, leave the finished strings open, and with an E minor shape, I play the F-sharp minor 7 at 11 chord. And now it's much more easy to play some hammer-ons. Something like this for example. But what's the function of the cable in this position? Well, let's talk about the notes first. We have the F sharp, when you have all the strings open, then the B, the E, the A, the B, and the E again. And you really have that nice sus2 and sus4 sound with the finished three strings. For example, when we move, remove the capo, and we play the E sus2, and we play the finished three strings, they are the same. And when we play an E7 sus4, for example, and we play the finished three strings, we have the same notes. And that sound is what you have when you have the capo on the second fret. And then you can play some chord variations higher on the neck, but with the open, free, finished strings, you keep that sound. That's really cool, I think. Today I'm going to show you three common chord progressions in the key of E, which you can use in this tuning. The first one is the 1 4 5 progression, and I'm going to use the chords E major, A sus 2, and B sus 2. It could sound like this. Playing the chords E major, A sus2, and B sus2. For the E major, you only play the second fret on the G string, and then the four finished strings. You mute the sixth and the fifth string. But you can also play an A over E, then you also play the fifth string, or you can play a G sharp over E. Then you play the second fret on a low E string. The next chord, the four chord, is the A sus2. You play the third fret on a low E string, and the second fret on a G string, and also the open D string, open B, and open E string, and you mute the fifth fret. The last chord we're gonna look at is a regular B sus2. You play it as an A sus2 because the capo is already playing the second fret, which is the note B. So you play the second fret on the D and G string. You can also put some melody notes to the chords. For example, the notes from the E major scale.
You can also play some melody notes on top of the chords. For example, on the E chord, you could play the note G sharp, which is the fourth fret on the high E string. On the Aces 2, you can play the note A on top, which is the fifth fret on the high E string. And I resolve that to the fourth fret on the high E string. Then I play the B sus2 on a different way. I play the root on the seventh fret relative to the capo on the low E string. What I'm playing there is the root on the seventh fret. I mute the fifth and the fourth string. Then I play the open G string, open B. And then on top I play the 7th fret on the high E string. And then I play the 9th fret on the high E string and resolve that to the B note again. And then I play the, the E again with the G sharp on top. And I resolve that to the open uh, E string with the G sharp in the bass. And you can also slide from the E A bass to the E, or to the B I should say. Which is really nice I guess when you play the Aces 2. Aces 2. The second chord progression that I'm going to use is the 1, 6, 4 and 5 progression. We are playing the chords E major, C sharp minor 7, A sus 2 again, to a B sus 2. It sounds like this. We already know three chords, which is the E, the Aces 2 and the B. There's only one new chord, which is the C sharp minor 7. You play that with the low E string on the 7th fret relative to the capo. Then you mute the 5th string, play the open D string, play the G string on the 9th fret, and then play the open B and E string. That's the only new chord in this progression. You can also put some melody notes to this chord progression. And again, I'm using the E major scale. On the E I play the same, I play the G sharp on top, then I go to the C sharp minor 7 and I play the C sharp on top, which is the 9th fret on the high E string, and I resolve that to the note B, which is the 7th fret on the high E string. Then I also play the C sharp on the high E string on the Aces 2. It's really a big stretch. So you play the third fret on the low E string. Then on the high E string, 
you play the 9th fret. Then I resolve that to note B, which is a 7th fret on our E string. And for the B is 2, I just play the regular B is 2. The final chord progression we're going to look at today is the 2 5 1 progression. Play the F sharp minor 7, then we play the B7, and the last chord is the E major 7. It sounds like this. For the F sharp minor 7, we play this as following. We play the open low E string, then the 5th fret on the A string, open D string, 4th fret on the G string, 5th fret on the B string. The next chord is the B7. We play this as a regular E7 chord relative to the capo. So you play the open A string, 2nd fret on the D string, open G string, 2nd fret, I mean now the 4th fret on the B string, and the 2nd fret on the high E string. And you can also resolve that like this, when you play on top the 4th fret, resolve it to the 2nd fret on the high E string. The last chord we're going to look at is the E major 7. We place a bar on the three finest strings and on the root note you play the D. It's like a regular D major 7, but then with a capo it's on the 4th fret, not related to the capo. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I give you some inspiration to create your own unique tunings and you can use the cable for that. The tabs are all available at my Patreon page and if you like this video you can put a thumbs up. See you on the next video. Goodbye.